Hi everyone, in this video I'll explain how you can write a single idea essay, the main body paragraphs. This technique applies to agree or disagree and discuss both views and give your opinion. And as you already know, these types of essays come up all the time in the IELTS Writing Task 2. So the format of IELTS Writing Task 2 is the introduction, main body paragraph one, main body paragraph two, and your conclusion. The purpose of the main body paragraph is to number one, present a position related to the question, to explain your ideas and to support your ideas with examples. So we're going to look at this essay. Many people believe that it's better to study in a group rather than individually. Do you agree or disagree? So the essay type is agree, disagree. So what we'll do is a main body paragraph one will give the first reason that you agree or disagree. And then a main body paragraph two, you'll give the second reason that you agree or down. disagree. Get some ideas on how we can answer this. So many people believe that it's better to study in a group rather than individually. So if it's better to study in a group, the first reason that you agree, for example, well, the students learn from each other. And number two, the second reason you agree, students learn better because group learning is more enjoyable and more enjoyable learning leads to better results. So, so main body paragraph one, single idea, let's put a topic sentence in sentence one to present your main idea. Sentence number two will be to explain that main idea. And sentence three will be to give a supporting example. And this is the format that we'll use in each paragraph. So my introduction, there's been a lot of research about the best ways to study. Several people think that it's better to learn in a collective way rather than studying alone. I agree that learning in a group setting is more effective for several reasons. Okay. So my topic sentence, firstly, there is a historic and extensive evidence that studying in a group helps learners to gain more information in a shorter period of time. Okay, so the topic sentence is really strong here, and now I'm going to develop it in the second paragraph. Schools, colleges, and training companies offer group lectures, classes, and sessions because there is evidence that this type of learning is more effective than individual study as students share knowledge with one another. And now sentence three, I will give an example. For example, the most prestigious universities in the world, such as Harvard and Oxford, encourage their students to participate in both sports and academic groups, group activities, as they know students improve faster through this method of learning. So each sentence is very strong, very powerful, Okay, and you're following the format for perfect coherence and cohesion. Now, main body paragraph two will follow the exact same formula. Topic sentence, explain it, and then support your main idea with an example. So topic sentence. Secondly, studying in a group is better for people because it is more enjoyable than learning alone. Let's explain this idea. Group learning is more dynamic and exciting than studying by oneself, and therefore students often remember the ideas gained through a collective experience. Now, my example. According to scientific experts, student learner, students learn faster when they are in an emotional state. An example is group workshops where students can create projects together. Learners remember new techniques they learn from their peers and apply them immediately in the workshop setting. Here is your final essay, just for your information, if you want to take note of how that's written and the use of cohesive devices. Let's move on to another one, but this is discuss both views. Social networking is being used for more for personal and professional purposes. Many people believe this is a positive trend, whereas others say that this is leading to negative consequences. Discuss both views and give your opinion. So we're going to follow the same format. In our intro, we're going to do background statement, paraphrase opinion, 
and then provide view one in paragraph one, view two in paragraph two, and our conclusion. So this is the format that we follow. Take note of this so that you always have a structure in place. Okay, so main body paragraph one, view one, discuss it, your opinion, example. And the same in paragraph two. So my view is that social media helps with communication. It creates opportunities. And I'll give my opinion with an example from Facebook. View two, social media leads to fraud or identity theft. Okay, this is the other side of the discussion. Um, I'll discuss the many examples of those problems and my opinion. And an example, positive stories using social media. So you'll see in this essay that I'm supporting the idea of using social media. So view one, it is clear social media allows people to communicate more easily than ever before. Sentence two, I'll explain that. Moreover, social networking opens opportunities for business creation, advertising and development. My opinion. Therefore, I believe that social media sites are very useful tools for our personal and professional lives. Now, an example. The famous social media website, Facebook, is a good example of a platform that allows people to stay in touch with friends, but also helps to develop a business network. Now, I follow the same format in view two. On the other hand, some people suggest that social media leads to fraud and an increase of identity theft. There have been situations where social media users are shocked and deceived by people who try to hurt them or steal from them. While this may be true, it is also possible to develop real associations and friendships through social networking when used correctly. For instance, there are many stories of people reconnecting with long lost friends and organizing reunions with them. So there's your final essay. And for your information, here is the structure that we use for single idea, essay, agree, disagree. Topic sentence, explain, support with examples, recap sentence. Paragraph two, topic sentence, explain main ideas three and four, support with examples, and recap sentence. Discuss both views. View one, discuss, give your opinion, and give an example. Main body paragraph two, view two, that should be view two, discuss your opinion and then give an example. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope this has been useful for you. See you in the next video. Bye.